I figured I'd continue on with the uh, AR3500 100 watt model, uh, somewhat upgrades on it. And now it did come with a pin plug, but that is no guarantee for any reason. Halfway through production, they changed that out. So you may not have anything, but what I had in there, which is just the pigtails for the channel board. And I got it with the mic here, it's a stock mic. I do like that blue on there, nice coffin mic, but yeah, no buttons on it. It's wired for the eight pin, it just uses four. You can use this without a microphone just for receive. So that's kind of cool. So what I want to do is just uh, do a quick upgrade on this. Is it quick? Probably not. With these older units, yeah, I have to take this all apart again, just like I did when I did the uh, display. I don't have to pull boards apart, so that's good. You just have to take the display out to get at the right... Uh, pins on the IC for yes in better shape yeah and yeah this was a clear channel add-on piece this is actually a original clear channel uh, they added this the 100 watt amp uh, was also an accessory it didn't come standard on 3500s I see that everywhere everyone's like oh yeah I got a 3500 as 100 watt amp no they 3500 was all the upgrades from the 3300 and then it made the digits instead of one rocker switch um, But yeah, so basically the 3500 was the upgraded with all the service uh, if you look at the service boltons on the 3300 3500 has it all included and even the 3500 had some uh, service updates I can't get a hold of all of them if you know where to get those I know where to get 3300 but 3500 um, but in any regard, what this did basically added channel mic buttons to the top of radio. Now we take that as for granted in the uh, new modern ones. But yeah, basically that just allowed you to do up and, up and down channel scan buttons. And then it would also program it so you could either do, uh, what is it, 100 hertz and 1 kilohertz uh, selectable options. And then you could do a turbo scan. But they did do uh, an upgrade on that, so it's 100 hertz and 10 kc. So you can uh, wire this up definitely to the IC, so you can get the 10 kc. So if you're in uh, CB radio, you can just do up down buttons, and just be the same as it was instead of having having it way over in the corner here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot easier to operate if you're using it for something else. Also on some of the standardized 10 meters and such. But yeah, that'll allow you to do mic controls. So yeah, this was an optional piece. They also had a variable CW power control as well. And did uh, allow that. That was always a big knob, usually on this side here. And then they also had the SP1, which was a speech processor. Everyone knows that from the SP1, Bob uh, CB radios. But yeah, usually you had the switch in the back, turn the compressor on and off. Had to drill holes in this radio, even with the factory upgrades. So yeah, we're gonna get into this. And uh, yeah, this is basically, that's what the SM2 does. So yeah, take your uh, new radios that you can get nowadays and remember that back in the day, there, there were add-ons to do that stuff. So the new stuff out of the box, is it better? I don't know, but I have never heard a bad thing about the uh, Ranger AR3500. Um, with or without the speech processor and the receiver is absolutely out of control. It is wonderful. It is so crisp and clear compared to any radio I have. So it, it, it's something to behold for sure. But we have to add this into that and make it all look good and make it nice. Mount it to the side. So appreciate y'all. We'll get that in the next video.